humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more Splatoon 2. Ink it up! Folks, I am an S plus rank player in the game's tower control mode, and I am working my way to becoming an X rank player. And I plan to do that today, but before I tackle some battles in the tower control mode, I'm gonna go ahead and eat one of these snacks here. That will allow my wins and losses to at least secondarily benefit my stats and money and whatnot. Okay, so. I am going to climb my way through the S plus rank, and I'm going to try and earn an X rank in this game. And I figure along the way I may as well get some extra level up abilities, and I may as well scrub some of my previous equipment, or add some extra slots. So, I don't quite know what abilities I'm going to use today, I'm probably just going to cycle between them. And I acknowledge that many people who play these ranked modes probably have an outfit that they already like, but... I don't exactly know which outfit I already like. I'm still trying to unlock pieces. I don't have, say, a shirt that only has special saver on it, you know? But like Ninja Squid, I could see myself using that later. And I'm not gonna spend all my Super Sea Snails right now, but I do want to upgrade a little bit of everything. So what's an ability I could see myself using today? I mean, they're all useful. Tenacity, that's probably good. I see lots of players getting splatted the more difficult these ranks get. So let's go ahead and max that one out. I've been hanging on to all of these Super Sea Snails since Splatfests, and now I'm gonna go ahead and cash them in. But not all of them. I wanna hang on to one or two extra ones first. Let's see, do I have something that's like filled three times that can have an extra slot? Because that would be ideal. And I'm not gonna wear all the new pieces of equipment at once. I'm gonna have like one new piece of equipment as on, level that up, and then when that's maxed out, I'll probably wear a different shirt that doesn't have any slots on it. Anyway, okay, the preparations are set. Tower control is the current ranked battle mode in rotation. I've got my abilities that I can level up. I ate a snack so I can level up my stuff more quickly. Let's go ahead and fight some S plus rank players and see if I can finally make my way into X rank tower control. Let's do it. Whoop whoop. This will not be easy. Alright, we've got eight players. Still a very active game, I see, and I love to see it. Let's see how competitive these players are. We're all S plus ranked players. We've all gone through our struggles. We are in the top tiers of the game besides X rank itself. But I did say tiers, plural. So, I mean, we're up there. Top 5% of players. X rank is top 1%, I know that. But alright, here we go! Ooh, and I do love this song. And I'm out of ink, because I'm always out of ink. Alright, Walleye Warehouse is a particularly interesting map for most game modes, particularly because it's so open. But I, I I would think that the general strategy is to try and sneak around the center divider and then try and splat players. Of course, I couldn't do that because, as I already stated, I'm always out of ink. Doggone it, that's not good. I mean, two of us are down, but two of them are down. Alright, Booyah Bomb, let's go. Let's go. The sooner we can knock them off the tower, the better. The lower of a score they have, the easier it will be to defeat. Alright. You guys dumb going to the center here? Nope, that's a no. Hey! Come on! Okay, just focus on the person on the tower. Don't worry about being distracted. Man! What the frick happened? <laughs> this is off to a rough start. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna be fine. Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe chucking and curling bomb was not in my best interest. Two of them are down, but the main person we need to get is the person on the tower. Good, the fourth player that's alive is right there! And I got splatted, but I got him. All of them are down. Someone hop on the tower. Let's go. Are any of my teammates on the tower, or is the tower just resetting itself to the middle? Nope. None of my teammates are on the tower. Come on, you guys. All of them were down. If you're not going to be on the tower, then you got to go in their base and make it all purple and make it more difficult for them to get over here. But fine. I'll, I'll be on tower duties. I got to be cautious to keep chucking bombs onto it. I'm always 
Out of freaking ink. Those curling bombs really take a lot out of you, huh? Alright. Double Booyah bombs? Alright, I'm down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's move it. They have a pretty decent score. I've got Splashdown, baby. Didn't splat anyone. It's fine. Oh my god, let me back on the tower. Thank you. Okay, one of them's down. Hang on, hang on. Just, just survive. Just survive. I don't necessarily need to take out players. It'd be beneficial for my team, but my goal is to move this tower. I'm dead. Yep, I saw that roller player. Come on, someone else take it. Two of them are down. One of them is a roller player. That's right there. That just got splatted. Come on, now's the time. You're on. I deem this to be relatively safe. Let's go. If you want to hop off and trade off, I'll do it. That is the glory that is tower control, that we can trade responsibilities. I'm still on. Oh! Come on, one point away! Come on! Are you kidding? We a bomb? Okay, I mean, that's helpful, but we gotta... Oh! We gotta do that push again now! We were one point off! Frick, man! That's obnoxious. I wonder if that's, like, just a, a tricky part to get the tower pass, because, I mean, they struggle to get beyond that point. They're only one... Yeah. They're only one point ahead. Doggone it! Ah, <sighs> okay. I mean, it's nice seeing them get splatted, but what we really need is to move the tower, and I'm deeming jumping to you to be safe. Nope, I'm dead. Well-placed Booyah Bomb. I didn't know there was going to be a Booyah Bomb. I know jumping to someone else is always a risky voyage, but a Booyah Bomb? How are they supposed to know I was going to land right on the eye of it? All right, three of them are down. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You got the tower. Good, good, good. I'm going to go ahead then and make this a living nightmare for them. Stay away from my teammates! Stay back! Nope, nope, nope. Use up all your bombs. Run out of ink. Go ahead. Stay back! Leave my teammates alone! Let's go! Alright, got that splashdown ready. We got a booyah bomb. Alright, we're making another push. We can do it! As long as someone on my team is still on the tower, and they are. Okay, I'll trade off. You want to go in? I got plenty of ink this time. Yes, we took the lead! That person got splatted. Okay, let's go for the knockout. We don't have to get the knockout, but I would love it if we did. Oh, oh my god, three of them are down. It's always that roller player! Ah! Oh! Alright, I hope this is somewhat safe. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Three of them are down again. And they took the tower. No! 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 Let's go. The closer the tower is to your base, the more of a distance you have to cover. It's always the roller player! Ah! <laughs> I should be flattered to know that another roller player is doing well along these ranks. I mean, I'm a roller player. I like knowing that the roller has its place here, and I think with Walleye Warehouse as a map, I think that's especially true. But no! I'm tired of getting splatted by you and not splatting you in the process. There! Three of them are down, including the person on the tower. Good. Good, good, good. We can play defensively for the rest of this. That roller player is still alive. That roller player is putting in work. I have to see how many players he splatted by the end of this. It's probably in the 20s. That, or he just keeps splatting me, and it's only, like, five. Alright, hang on a second. Er. Roller player! Okay, I didn't get the splat for that, but I definitely assisted. Wait, no. They have two roller players. That's the trick. It took me until the very end of the match, but I realized they only have two roller players now. Okay, three of them are down. Three of us are down, but... Hmm. Alright, I would have thought that would have been safe. I'm the only person on my team that's alive. Twelve seconds. We mustn't be careless. They could take this back. Yeah, they're, they're doing their final push right now. And they got their ink armor. Okay, hide here for a second. You don't know I'm here. Come on, every little bit of ink counts. No! Please don't do this! Come on, okay! I was gonna say, all we have to do is stand on the tower for half a second. Oh my god. I get so nervous when it's overtime and I get splatted. And they're still pushing. Whew! Not a knockout, but I will still gladly take it. Thank you, O-Dip, Japanese player, and Wenton. Very good. I got seven. Okay, so... The roller players got... Nine and ten players. I actually splatted... Seven. So they got more than I did, but not too much more. The person on their team that splatted 20 players was not the roller player. But I didn't have to deal with them all too much. But still! Whew! <laughs> That's only one match in S plus rank tower control. That's absurd. This is going to be rough, I know it. But I, I got to keep pressing onward. Once I make it to the OK line, which looks like it's right in the middle of the rank now, I'll be, I'll be a little more calm. I remember before... The OK line was like a third of the way into the rank meter, but now I guess when you're just before X rank, it's halfway, which means you got to win, what, five matches in a row to get to the OK line? Or I guess you don't have to win them in a row, you have to win five matches. But I think the losing penalty is greater in these ranked battles too. I think you're allowed to lose like seven or eight times before you drop in rank in previous ranks, but I think in S+, 
every time you lose once a crack shows up in your meter so when you lose four times you get reset so yeah i pretty much do have to win four times in a row in order to get to the okay line then you know if i lose it sucks but at least i don't have to drop down a rank and work my way back up here so let's go we're back to walleye warehouse okay just because i won one game doesn't mean i'll win all of them i got different team players now and i've got different opponents i'm gonna booyah at the beginning there we go my teammates are booyahing I try not to initiate this very often, but I'll do it every once in a while. Hello! If I can just get one of you. Nope, I'm out of ink because I'm always out of ink. Those curling bombs, man. Those curling bombs. Maybe I should wear a different outfit that makes it so that my curling bombs don't take up so much of my ink. I don't know. Too late now, but I already forget what abilities I have. What happened to them showing what abilities you had in like the top right corner? I know the first Splatoon game did that. Is there a way I can check in Splatoon 2? Well, I'm not going to check now. I'm dead. I can see what my opponents have. Can't as easily see what I have. Hmm. Oh, I can see what I have. It's on this screen. Well, whatever. I'm not going to look at it right now. All right. Darn it all! I guess it should have been a little obvious. All right. Their score isn't too great. Now's the time to make it so that it doesn't become even greater. Okay. All right. Generally speaking, when I play tower control, or any ranked battle mode for that matter, a score of 50 by my opponents is always beatable. And I always want to get a score of at least 50 because I always think it's easy to lose. Now I see, I know you're hiding back here. Hi, I'll make you use that up. All right, cool. Two of them are down. Now's the time for us to push the tower. Okay, turn all this pink into this kind of bright green color. Here we go. I didn't splat you, huh? Whatever, I'll do this. Boom, the less pink there is on your map, the better. The harder it is for you to get to the tower, which makes it better for us. That is not a great score. It's not a great score. We gotta do better, folks. Especially since they're in the lead. Okay, right on the tower. I'll take it. Go, go get them. Push them away. Scare them away. All right. Cover up all the ink. Cover up all the ink. Wow. Frick, man. Hey, I got somebody. Darn it! Come on, man. Two of them are. Okay, three of us are down. Whatever. Two of them are down. One of the only players that's alive is moving the tower back. Doggone it. Doggone it. Doggone it. Doggone it. Get used to <laughs> get used to me saying that in this video. All right, I guess I'm going this way. I'd rather not get splatted immediately after respawning, thank you. I'll take an alternate path. Let's go, got you. Okay, gotta get the person on the tower. Come on, thank you, two of them are down. I took down two of them in any case. That person's alive, but he's not on the tower, so let's go. And then someone's jumping to him. All right, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. And it should be relatively safe to jump to you. Here. Let's go. All righty. Mm -hmm. Darn it! Frick, man! Well, if, it, if I can at least be a distraction, that's beneficial. I just have to hope that my teammates can still move that tower. All right, one of them is still respawning. I'm deeming this somewhat safe to jump to you, but I might be in trouble. Hey, I got that person, and I got splatted. Come on, man! That's not even that tough of a score to beat. Why do we keep getting to 70? Or that's not. Why do we keep getting to a distance remaining of 77, and then we can't push it beyond that? Is this just like an impossible point? I'm dead. Great. Uh, that's only a score of 23. That's not great, especially when their score is only 26. <laughs> God. All right, let's go. Oh, whoa. Where'd you go? Of course, I'm not going to be able to splat you. Yep. Crazy. That ink armor is not doing a whole lot for me. It's, in fact, it's just shooting me around. And now they are improving their score. Dog got it. Come on. Don't let them improve their score. Just go, don't get too distracted. Go after the person on the tower. Very good. Two of them are down. The other two that are alive are still on the tower. Or maybe not. Okay, let's push, guys. Someone take it. Okay, I'm jumping to you. I'm spamming my button. Let's go. Very good, very good, very good. Here, I'm moving. All right. I guess I'm going to go on the offensive. Hello! Why did that split? Okay, good. You're down. Missiles are there. Two of them are down. The third... Oh. Three of them are down. Great, great, great. Now's our chance to push. Come on. Hop back on the tower. What are you doing? Three of them were down. Ah. Like, do I have my mindset wrong? I figure anytime you see that, that, like, at least half their players are down, that's the time you should take the tower. But now they all have their specials all of a sudden. Come on. This is not an impossible score to beat. Two of them are down. Third player that's alive is right over there. Fourth player that's alive. To be determined. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is our push. Come on! Are you kidding me? Someone hop on the tower for a half second or it won't count! Ugh. Are you kidding me? I'm upset. I'm salty. 
That sucks so much. Three of them were down. I don't know where my teammates were. The one person that was alive on their team shot me and none of my teammates were able to get onto the tower. And ties in this game, if you tie, it goes to the person who got the furthest distance first. So the comeback team will always have more work to do. Unless we do an ultimate comeback now. Oh, see, now you want to push? Now I've got everything? I hate that the Booyah Bomb has armor. I hate that the Booyah Bomb has armor. Oh my god! <laughs> that sucks so much! Like, I guess it shows the intensity of what S plus ranked tower control matches can truly demonstrate. But... Uh, I know my teammates tried, okay? I, you guys were splatting people. Good job on that front. But why was I... Like, I don't know. I know my teammates were on the tower. I had a teammate that was on the tower for a fair share of the match. But I felt... Here, let me change my gear. But I felt like I was the only person who was actually trying to move the tower forward for a majority of it. Alright, let me swap something. Let's put on Ninja Squid. I don't know how useful Ninja Squid is in tower control, but that's what I'm wearing. And I'm putting my bicycle helmet on. Some people say it's bad luck. It's sometimes brought me good luck. I don't really think it's perfectly associated with bad luck or good luck. But it's what I'm wearing, darn it! Now... Back to talking to tower control at hand. I don't know if there's a generally advised strategy. My mentality has almost always been when there are more players on your team that are alive than your opponent, go for the tower. When two of the opposing players are down, I feel like that's a generally safe time to go for the tower. Yes, someone could be hiding by the tower, but someone can always be hiding. While I wear house again, let's go. So I pay a lot of attention to when opposing players in the opposite team are down. And you know that when all four players are down, there's no reason to not go for the tower. So I don't know, that's my mentality. I know it was a very close game last time. We're booyahing again. Let's just, let's just take this. I'm gonna try the strategy again of sneaking around the side and seeing if I can splat one person. But of course not, of course not. Maybe it's not a great strategy, I don't know. I feel like on this map, it's especially a great strategy, but whatever, all of us are down. See, so if I was on the opposing team, my mentality would be, why would you not take the tower? And yeah, I, they, they did take the tower, but it like took them a few seconds. I just have to ask why. Goodbye. Okay. Let's go. Okay, ink armor. Now, if I can just go after the people on the tower. Very good. Cool. So now three of them are down, right? So now we should focus on moving the tower back. And if you're not going to be on the tower with me, then go ahead and turn all their yellow ink into blue ink and make it very difficult for them to get back to the tower in the first place. Now... Their score is easily beatable. Oh, I was trying to jump back. I need to splash down. That's fine. At least when I respawn, my special meter will be mostly filled. Not a great score on our end, though, and it's not safe to jump to anybody. So I'm going to go back the old-fashioned way, chuck down an extra curling bomb to at least make the path back to the center a little more manageable. There. And I saw your laser, my dude. All right, and they are beating us. Hey, what are you doing here? Three of them are down. Fourth player that's alive is right there. I'm going to say ouch so that my teammates know he's there. Okay, they see him. They see him. See, I don't, I don't get it. The four, the only player that's alive on their team is still going for the tower. But I feel like whenever I play, nobody on my team ever wants to take the tower. I don't know. We're taking it now. I feel like this team is much more in my style, if you will. I'm, the only reason I'm not on the tower right now is because I'm trying not to die. There we go. Okay. Now, it should be okay. You're on the tower. Very good. Then I will go on the offensive. Cool. Splash down. We got another splash down going. Very good. All right, I'll hop on for a second. Oh, if I just had my roller down. Man. What is it with these games and us getting to like one score and then never... Always tying that score and then never actually being able to pass it by one point. Okay, I'm okay over here. Nope, I'm dead. Didn't know if anyone saw me or not, but nope. They definitely saw me. Come on, you guys. This is a score that we can easily beat. This isn't so bad. This is not so bad. Okay, the sniper on their team is down. That's good. Alright, so they're pushing us back into our base. Hmm. Okay, two of them are down. One person that's alive on their team is on the tower. Okay. Let's see. So the person that used the splashdown, is that the same person that was on the tower? I think so. And they're making a push. Don't let them to get to a score of 50. Alright, the person that's on the tower is down. I see you. Got you. Yeah, sucks when you don't get to use your splashdown, huh? Alright, and then... Cool, I just took down three of them. All four of them were down for a brief second. They're all respawning. Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Turn all this yellow ink into blue ink. Yeah, see, you're spamming this way as well. You get the general idea. Right? It's not just me that was saying this way. You're saying, ouch. How did you get splatted? You were, you were all respawning. 
Uh, let's go. All right, we're st we still have the tower. Let's go. Two of them are down. Okay. You're just going to keep hearing me say the same stuff. But we are still pushing it. Let's go. All right. Uh, this probably isn't safe if all my teammates are down besides me. Yep. Now we're all down. Uh, <laughs> look. Tower control is still my favorite mode in the game. Don't get me wrong. I just... I need better coordination with my teammates and handing off the tower and going into the enemy's base and trying to mess them up a bit. All right, let's turn this yellow ink to blue ink, huh? Okay, got that person. Yeah, they're not going past checkpoint two. That's a no from me. All right, let's hide here for a sec. Oh, hang on. Nope. Hello. You're still alive? Really? Ah, uh, I have a love-hate relationship with my roller. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on now. Okay, we have a sniper on our team. I just realized. Oh, come on, man. You gotta take those precision shots. And they're still moving their score. Oh, ink armor. Okay, I'm taking it. I'm moving it back. I don't have to stay on it to move it back, because it'll go back to the middle no matter what, but... Oi. Yeah, you're still going after me. If I roll over you, perfect! I got two of them! Three of them are down! Come on, guys! The fourth player that's alive is just standing there. Go! Someone hop on the tower! Come on! I saw you guys both just staring at it. Let's go! I'll take it then. Frick, man. We have to take it now. We gotta push it in the overtime and just take it. Come on. We got 20 seconds, you guys. And then one splashdown is gonna be overwritten by the other. Great. 13 seconds. I can just get on the tower. It's probably not gonna happen. They have more defense on the tower now than they did at any other point in the match. Come on, hop on it for like half a second. Let's go. I don't care if you have me marked. Let's go. Ultimate comeback. Come on. You guys get how this works, right? Yeah, hop on. I'll roll over you. Hop on. What? Are you kidding me? Uh. So you guys saw what happened, right? My opponent had ink armor. So I cannot one-hit KO him. The ink armor pushed me back. Thus knocking me off of the tower. And because I was off the tower for a second. And he was on the tower for a second. It ended the overtime. And again, I have to ask, what were my teammates doing? <laughs> you guys were splatting players, I get it. And maybe, I don't know, maybe people are watching my videos and they're like, you Schiller, you're an idiot, you're an idiot, you're not supposed to play tower control like that. But like, I, I just, I feel like my teammates never want to go for the tower. I don't know. It's kind of bumming me out. I, I know that there were moments in that match where my teammates were on the tower while I was also on it. But seldom was there ever this coordination of, like, trading off the tower, alternating between who's on the tower. You know, like, I feel like I was the one who was on it most of the time, and my teammates just couldn't push in. Even in moments where they were all down, or three of them were down, they were still busy inking our base. When there's very many spots that they could be inking in the enemy's base. Alright, well, I finally have a crack in my meter, and that sucks because I'm not at the okay line yet. Walleye Warehouse again. I guess I'm only going to Walleye Warehouse today, guys. Sorry. That's just how it's going to have to work. All right, this time we're the yellow team versus the blue team. So this time the colors have been reversed. Let's go. All right. Uh, I'm not going to initiate a booyah at the beginning. If one of my other teammates wants to booyah, you can. But I'm not going to start it off this way. Here we go. I'm not in a booyah mood. A booyah initiating mood. Come on, let me finally splat someone like this. All right, well, together we got that person. That's worth a booyah. But they're moving the tower. But two of them are down. One of the players that's alive was previously on the tower. And that person's down. Okay. Now is our time to move the tower. Okay. We wait for the ink rain to end. I see you back here. Hello. What? Didn't even look like you were aiming at. Oh, the mine got me. Okay. I thought you shot me out of the sky. I was like, your laser wasn't even pointing at me. All right. This should be pretty safe. Two of them are down. My teammates are over here. The turf is fairly yellow. All right. There we go. My teammate's on the tower. Very good. All right. I'll splash down over to you. Or splash down beside you. All right, three of them are down again. How do they have the tower, though? Three of them were down. How are they sneaking out the tower from under our noses? All right, I'll, I'll take it then. Let's go. Two of them are down. Good. All the blue ink shall become yellow ink. Make it very difficult for them to come on over. Oh, I just realized. Someone on their team disconnected. Well, you know what? I'm taking this. I just want to get to the okay line, darn it. Sometimes that happens. 
And in a case where someone on our team disconnected, I mean, we should still keep playing anyway because you don't get a penalty if you lose. So, I mean, we'll just take this. We'll just take this. I know it's probably very obnoxious for them, but I'm, I'm, I'm fine with this. Counting the player who was disconnected. Three of them were down for a moment. Let's get that knockout. Come on, redemption match. Let's make this crazy. See? Now we're all on the tower. It took a player on the opposing team to disconnect for me to finally get a team that was well-coordinated, willing to push, and willing to trade off the tower, but I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it's a knockout. Cool. Combined with the food that I ate at the beginning of the video, that should give me plenty of experience points. Knockout bonus. That's what I'm talking about. 3,900 points. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, was that the most skillful victory? No. But I just want to get to the okay line, darn it. Matches like that are going to happen. And I leveled up my Ninja Squid. Still have yet to see if that's super beneficial, especially since it makes me slow down. But having its sub effect, sub ability, be special saver or special charge up, one of the two, that's beneficial. I like that. All right, well, I'm going to keep trying with Ninja Squid. We're going to see how it plays out. It's good, I guess, if I want to hide by the tower, but I don't know. We've also only been exclusively going to Walleye Warehouse. I don't even remember what the other map is. Camp Triggerfish. All right, it'd be nice to go there next, but if I go to Walleye Warehouse again, I mean, okay. And also, despite getting a knockout in the previous game, I mean, my meter did go up, but I maybe I do have to win more than five matches to make it to the okay line. Maybe I got to win like six or seven. Oh, getting the X rank is ridiculous, but I guess that's why I want it, right? Finally, Camp Triggerfish. All right. It would have been slightly humorous if Walleye Warehouse was the only map that appeared in this video, but I feel like it would have made matches get pretty stale pretty quickly. Alright, let's rotate things out a bit. Here we go. So, same general idea. Use curling bombs to make a path to get to the center. Move slightly past the center. Take out players where I can. Hello. If you're going after me, oh, I was going to say, if you're going after me, it means you're not going after the tower. And, oh, well, I mean, my teammates did take the tower. Good on them. Good on them. Alright, let's go. I'm moving. I'm going. Two of them are down. Sniper player's down as well. Okay, oof, they got me, but they didn't get you. Okay, and you got him. All right, all right. I'm liking this team already. Cool, none of them seem to be near you. Oh, someone got you from the distance. Probably the sniper player. I'm coming. I'm gonna work, work, work my way around. Okay, we didn't get halfway, so we could easily lose this, but I'll, I'll hop back on. I'll hop back on. I'm okay, I'm alive. I'm on. Hey. Cool, you're stuck in a bunch of green. How are you alive? There you go, my teammate got you. Three of them are down? Perfect. Perfect. It's okay if I get splattered right here. We're about to be halfway. We are halfway. Awesome. All right, we're all getting splattered, but we're still getting distance points. I'm coming, my man. I'm coming. Land me on the tower, please. Nope, right beside the tower. That's not what I wanted, but we got at least halfway. We're making it very difficult for them to reclaim their turf. This is exactly what I want to see. All right. Now let's... I, like, we could go on the defensive. I feel confident enough now that we've got at least halfway. But, I mean, if we want to go for the knockout, I'm all for that, too. Man, did you see me? I was supposed to have Ninja Squid. You weren't supposed to see me. I'm hoping that was just instinct and that you just happened to get me, but whatever. All right, I'm jumping to you. This should be relatively safe. There shouldn't be any purple players over here. All right, and we're moving the tower. Great. All right, I'm going to work in reverse again since it seems like everyone's going after you. I'm alive. Everyone's going after me. <laughs> Cool! Three of them are down, and we're still moving the tower! I love it! Alright, oh, I thought you were on the tower. Oh, all of them are down! All of them are down! Alright, let's go, guys! Let's push that tower, I'm coming. Probably should have jumped to you, but whatever. I'm taking the long route so that by the time I get there, the opposing team players will be there too, and I'm gonna make this a war, baby! Okay, now three of us are down, that didn't work for me, but the person on our team that's alive is still on the tower. Woo! That was a good push. Very nicely done. Alright. Yeah, just... I figure if I'm going to be going back over here, I may as well trick curling bombs in random directions and try and fill up my special gauge by the time I get back to the center, right? Hello. All right, so my curling bomb didn't get you, but in combination with my curling bomb and a teammate, we got you. That's good. All right, tower is automatically resetting itself. Not too big of a deal, considering three of them are down. All right, but this is a much better game. I like this. I like this. All right, so I'm alive. Here. Let's get you. I actually got somebody. And I didn't get splatted in the process. And then let me make it harder for you guys to get back over there. All right. I'm the only person on my team that's down. That's not so bad. And then someone on the opposing team is using the same weapon I am. Kind of nice to see it. Doesn't change the fact that I hate fighting against it. Three of them are down. The only person on their team that's alive is right there. And hopefully my brush teammate will get him. My brush teammate's still alive. Mm, probably not safe to jump over there, though. 
All right, let me... Considering we've hardly inked this part of the map, it might be in my best interest to go ahead and cover this in green as a defensive tactic. And at least this way I can try to sneak around and take on the tower players who are coming this direction. Okay, but it seems like we're good. It seems like we're defending it pretty well. All right, I'll hop on for a brief moment then. Nope, you don't get to use that special on the tower. You can use that special, just not on the tower. All right, let's turn their purple ink into some more green ink. Three of them are down. The only person on their team that's alive is right here. Couldn't quite get him, but my teammate did. All right. Oh, they're respawning already. All right, very well. But they're down, so we're all jumping over there. Okay. Three of them are down again. This time, I'm intentionally not jumping over there in an attempt to be a little defensive, considering our lead is already pretty strong. And all my teammates are already over there taking care of it, so that way, if I jump over there, we don't all get splatted at once. All right, I've got a splash down. This, oh, if someone was on my someone on my team was there, that would have been perfect. I didn't get you. That sucks. Oh, I'm alive. I'm okay. Why didn't that splat you? There we go. At least I got you. Didn't get the person who's currently on the tower, but I got the other dude who could have been on the tower. That counts for something, right? All right, this should be somewhat safe. Nobody's right here. Okay, but I, I probably should move. Nope! I'm alive. We're good. Nope! I'm still alive, baby! Made you use your special. And I got you! Wow. Okay, great. I like it when I get the person and not get splatted in the process. All right. Now, the goal is to get you off the tower. You're off the tower, and you got splatted by one of my teammates. Very good. All right, that's worth a booyah. I agree. All right, hey. Boom! There you go. Remember when you did that to me toward the beginning of the match? Well, now I did it to you. Maybe Ninja Squid had its uses after all, especially since I'm just chucking curling bombs and maneuvering along. I'm just going to keep you guys pushed back. As long as you guys aren't on the tower, we win! And that's the game, and that's much more like it. That's... What I'm talking about! Huh. huh. It's nice to be able to win a game and not win it only because my opposing team was down a player. <laughs> it's also nice to go to a different map for a change. Awesome stuff! Oh, I'm so glad you at least get a lot of points if you win. <laughs> it makes eating that food at the beginning of the video all the more worthwhile. Oh, there we go! That shot my meter up. Okay. So one more victory should push me past the okay line. Okay. Whew! Gotta relax. I am so freaking close to that okay line! Come on, man! Don't make me get a third crack in my meter before I pass that okay line. Please! I don't know that I'd be able to take it. Oh, so close, man. Just once I get past the okay line. If I lose again after that, it would suck, but it would be much more manageable. Don't make me do all this again! Oh, man. Splatoon 2, I guess, has a good way of doing the ranking system. It just... Oh, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't stressful at times, though. Alright. Hang on a second. Moving so slowly. Hello. Didn't get that person because my roller doesn't KO anybody anymore. <laughs> but two of them are down. That's good. And we took the tower. That's even better. And the third player on their team that's alive is going toward the tower, but wasn't toward it at the time. I'm coming down. Boom. Hello. Okay, you guys are all over here. Hi. Hi. At least got us a few extra distance points. I don't know where my teammates are right now. They're all getting splatted by someone. How? I don't know. None of them were near the tower. Didn't seem like it. Okay. Checking Curly Mom over there. I felt my special meter as I make my way back. Oh. Come on. I want to I wanna go up this way. All right. That's not going to happen, apparently. I don't know how to climb a sponge. Okay. All right. 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 I got to move. Let's keep the purple missiles away from my teammates as best as I can. All right. Their distance score. Uh, it's decent. Get that person. He's still alive, it seems like. Okay. Oh, now you got him. Good job. Oh, wait, no. Different person. There. Three of them are down. Let's go. Turn all the purple ink into green ink. Get rid of all this. Get rid of all that. I'm the only person on my team that's alive. That's a little nerve-wracking. I don't trust myself to take down the entire team by myself. Although I have splatted all four players on an opposing team before, I don't trust myself. I got two of them, though. I'll take that. Three of them are down. Great. All of them are down. Wow. Someone on my team on the tower? Nope. Come on, you guys. Gosh darn it. All right, there we go. And now I gotta do a little bit of work over here. Stay back. Stay back. It's okay if I don't get you as long as my teammate does. And my teammate did. And then you had another teammate get him. All right, come on, come on, come on. Now's our push. Two of them are down. We have the tower. Third player that's alive is not focused on taking out the tower. Player, I'm coming in. I'm alive. Every extra point counts. We're past halfway. Ugh. Whew! Okay. Alright, that's a little more manageable. 
We mustn't let our guard down. It's still a score that isn't too difficult to defeat. Let's just get rid of all this purple ink. Hello. Hello. My roller doesn't KO anybody anymore. <laughs> oh, man. Dynamo rollers are tough, but I, will, I can't see myself being a dynamo player. Never say never, but I'm too used to the default splat roller right now. Alright, we're okay. Getting those extra distance points. Nope, nope. I was on the tower too for a moment. Three of them are down. Great. Now's our chance to push. We're, un we're out from underneath the bridge, which to me is the most difficult part to move the tower past. Alright, let's go! Let's freaking go! Let me use my splash down! I could have just pressed the special, but I, I thought it would be better to jump to somebody. We still have it? Wow, okay, let's go. Oh, frick, man, that was a second too slow. Okay. That's a, that's a fantastic score, though. It's not a knockout, unfortunately, but I will take it. If they beat that score, I'll be really upset, but hopefully I'm not jinxing anything. Let's go. Took out the player. I don't care if I get slatted in the process. We have a good lead. If I can take out somebody, that's beneficial for my teammates. All right, my teammates are still alive, too. And they're still taking out players. Very good. Very, very good. And we got plenty of green ink on the field. I love it. Three of them are down. Great. They don't have the tower. Perfect. Fourth player that's alive is right here. Excellent. Mm hmm It's okay. It's okay. I didn't take out a player that time, but I, I pushed him back for like half a second. I distracted them. All right, and we're still taking that tower. I'm not going to jump to the tower right now. I must have, I love the knockout. I think they're all going to be pretty focused on... Oh, nope, three of them are down, actually. Fourth player that's alive is this roller player right here. And he's still alive in somewhere. Oh, someone else is alive right there. Can I finally take you out without getting splattered in the process? Fine, my teammate took you out. Perfect. Let's go. Oh, there! And I'm alive! I didn't get that person. Okay, my teammate got that person. Very good. Alright, we're over here now. Turn all this purple ink into green ink. Let's go! I'm alive! I took out a person! I took out another person! And we're still moving the tower! I, I, I think. I think that per the opposing player with the special. Oh, no, we're moving it. We're going. Alright, I'm not going to jump straight to the tower. I'm going to jump beside it. Because I think this is safer. Alright, we're moving. We're going. I'm taking it. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> Darn it. It's fine. We have a decent enough score. They have a lot. They have a pretty hefty score to beat, and they're getting splatted. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. Let's keep up that pressure. Maybe jumping here isn't safe, because if one of us gets splatted, we all get splatted. Oh, I'm alive. All right. Just keeping my eye on the tower. If we're on the tower during the last second of the match, we're good. They're not even on it right now. All right. I'll take it. I'll move it back in the other direction. Here we go. I see you there. I'm alive. Well, I'm dead, but now the tower is inaccessible for you for a few seconds. So you're just going to stand there and wait for it. I get it. Three of us are down, though. It's a little nerve-wracking. But as long as we stand on the tower for like a second, literally a second, we'll be okay. And they'll have to get past this little bridge part, too, in order to beat the score. Alright, if I go right here. Got you! And game! Alright! That was a team effort! I love it! I took out some players, my teammates took out all sorts of players that were taking out me, we all alternated between taking the tower, we made a huge push and almost got a knockout. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I love to see. All right, my throat is dying, and we each splatted at least 15 people. I got 16 people, and I'm past the okay line. Woo! I will probably still reset my rank by the end of this video, but still, I'm past the okay line after an excellent game. I will gladly take that, and I leveled up my shirt. Thank you. Okay. And we have our eight players, Ash, Dippy, Hannah, Jarmo66, myself, Squid Sauce T, and A. Maneki. At least that's what it looks like. I know that that wasn't a letter A, but I, I wonder if it's still pronounced A. All right, Wall Eye Warehouse. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm ready for this. Here we go against Ash, Jarmo66, Squid Sauce, and T. All right. So same general idea. My teammate has the right idea. So I'm going to let him use his curling bumps to go along that path. I will ink this path so we have alternatives for getting back to the center of the map. Because just following my teammate sometimes isn't the best strategy. Hello, you're going this way. I hope I splat you. Oh, my teammate got you. Very good. One of them's down. We're all still alive. If I can take out somebody. I did! I did get somebody. I got someone else with my curling bomb for a change. Not often that that happens. So when it does happen, it feels oh so good. And I've got splash down. Boom. Leave my teammates alone. All right, I didn't splat you because you had ink armor. But I at least knocked off your ink armor. And my team is making a push. Very good. All right. A decent enough push. Three of them are down. Let's keep it going. All of them are down. Let's go. 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 Okay. All right. All right. It's not because someone on their team disconnected. Yeah, they're all still in the game. All right. Let's go. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. Cool, still taking them out. Turn all their green ink into purple ink. Hop up the tower for a half second so as to not get splattered while I'm on it. Okay. Mm, almost halfway. Not bad, but not ideal. Oh, okay, perfect. Well placed splashdown, my fellow teammates. Let's go. Almost halfway. All right, I got us an extra point. That extra point could save us in the long run if they tie us. All right, we lost the tower. A decent enough push, but I do like getting at least halfway. I do like getting at least to 50 remaining distance points. Mm. Ooh, okay, they're, they're coming in strong. Okay. If I take you out, that helps my teammates, right? Where are you going to go? Got you! Hooray! I actually took out someone I was going after. And I got you too! Two of them are down, and it's the two players I took out, and then you're still alive, huh? Goodbye. I didn't take you out. Darn it! Finally! I got that person too! Okay! I'm actually doing a decent job this game. Wow, that curling bomb sucked though. Of course that would happen while I'm saying I'm doing a decent job, but whatever. Alright, we got this tower. We're doing okay. We're hanging in there. Slight lag, I think, for a half second there. Three of them are down! Fourth player that's alive is right there. Hello. And goodbye! They're all down! They're all down and we're at least halfway! Let's go! Ink their base! Push them back! Prevent them from taking this tower! Let's go! Let's go! Make it as frustrating for them to take this tower as possible. Boom. Alright. Hello. I'll roll over you again. I don't mind that I got splatted. Three of you guys are down. We have a distance remaining point. Distance remaining of 10. My teammates had the right idea. They took the tower and they pushed it into the score zone or whatever it's called. The final destination. Whatever. We got the knockout, baby! Woo! That's what I'm talking about! Nice, pure, raw, skillful, team-oriented knockout! That's what I love to see and that's what I love to record. And I splatted seven players. Mmm. Mwah. Love it. Now, the unfortunate thing is that tower control is actually just about to rotate out. So, I actually cannot continue this session right now. But this video is not over! I will play tower control when it comes back in the rotation later today. And we'll see how things go at that time. Okay. It's a different hour. That means different stages. All I gotta do is win two more. And then I'll be done with all of this. Okay? As you can tell, I'm a little tired. I've been, I've been doing stuff all day, and I do enjoy playing Splatoon 2, don't get me wrong, but I'm just so ready to be done with this task. I'm, I'm so ready. I, I, I get it. Rank X is supposed to be difficult to obtain. That is the whole point of getting it, so you can have the ultimate bragging right. But man oh man, I'd be lying if I said it didn't take a long time. And I'd be lying if I said that I could have that much enthusiasm for that long of a period of time. But okay, here we are, back at Walleye Warehouse, and we shall see what's gonna happen! Here we go. Alright, it's Bango, O Dip and Rice on my team versus Silly Squid, Sleepy, Japanese name, and Queen Sabah. Let's go. Alright, so we got double curling bombs and we're booyahing at the beginning. Alright, that's a that's a pretty good sign, if I may say so myself. Let's just go! Let's freaking go! Alright, caution right around here. If I can get one person, great! I can help my teammates out. I don't care if you've marked me. I'm just gonna go back this way for a second until that wears off. Cool, we've got the tower. Good. One of them is down. We're all alive, so... Alright, I'm coming in, guys. I'm coming in. I'll hop on the tower in a second if need be. They took the tower, but we got a Booyah Bomb going! Yeah, made you use your special. Using up my own! I got somebody with it! Hooray! And I got that person! Three of them are down! Move the tower! Move the tower! Come on, we can do it! We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Alright, I'm coming guys, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I deem this to be relatively safe, although this is about to get real chaotic real quickly. Alright, I'll hop on the tower. Okay, you were behind me, that would explain why I didn't see you, and I commend you for actually going behind and trying to attack the tower from behind. That's usually a strategy that I tend to deploy. But okay. It, it, look. It's a decent enough distance score, but you're going to keep hearing me say that any score underneath 50, any movement that doesn't bring the tower to at least the halfway mark, is not really ideal in this competitive of a rank. Oof, yeah, we're really going back and forth. As long as we have the lead, I guess. We could play defensively for the rest of the match, but that's not a tough score to beat, guys. I say we keep trying to push. I'm a man of my word. Let's keep trying to push this tower. Yup, nope, 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 as long as I'm alive. Yeah, just distract them. Wow. Wow, man. Alright, come on, someone else hop on. I'll keep booyahing, don't get me wrong, but there we go, we're moving it, we're moving it. Every distance point's gonna count, make it harder for them to win. There we go. Wait, what?! My teammate splashed down, and that did not KO you? You were not even hiding in ink, my good sir. 
But we're still moving the tower. I do not deem it safe to jump anymore, but we are at least halfway. That's a much better score. 59? Very good. I'll accept that as a score. All right, got you. At this point, I don't mind going on the defensive. Three of them are down. Very good. I would like to keep pushing, though. Let's go! Let's freaking go! All right, I'll, have back, I'll hop back on tower duty in just a moment. Let me go ahead and make it more inconvenient for them to get over to the tower in the first place. I've got a special ready. Ah, I clicked it. I clicked the button. All right, well, two of them are down, but we're not moving the tower anymore. Oh, we are moving the tower. Okay. Well, then I deem it to not be safe anymore. <laughs> I'll go over the manual way. Oh, we are. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I feared. Taking the tower for half a second and then just getting destroyed while all my teammates are still respawning. All right, I'll work backwards. Give me a moment. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, that's okay. Here, just just throwing that out. Working backwards. I got you. Hooray! Looked like you were trying to use your splashdown as well. Yeah, it's not fun when you get splatted on the first frame of you trying to use your splashdown, huh? In any case, three of us are down. That's that's no good. I would rather not lose this match. Thanks. All right, caution. Yeah, that's that's it's obvious. It's obvious I would have been there. Oh my god. Okay. I tried to do the less obvious thing, but it was still somewhat obvious, huh? Come on, yeah, there you go. Good job, teammates. All you gotta do is get the person on the tower. Anyone else is a bonus, but don't let them be the priority. All right, and then I gotta make sure we still have at least a somewhat reasonable orange path to allow us to get back to the tower with relative ease. They took the tower, okay, hang on. We have bomb, all right. It's a pretty solid special for this mode and this map. Okay, hang on a second. Let's go in. Let's, let's hide here for a second. We're still pushing the tower. Very good. All right, I'm gonna jump to you. Hang on, and not the best place to use a splashdown, but I'm using it. All right, get away from us. Getting all that distance. Here we go. Yeah, I don't care if you mark me. You know I'm gonna be on the tower. Come on, got someone. Great. That's a good score, 75. And we got a booyah bomb coming. Go get it. Go get it. I don't care if we've lost the tower as long as they don't go and get it themselves. This probably isn't safe, but I'm doing it anyway. Dead! Oh, and my teammate's dead. Oh, we're all down for a second. Two of them are down, so that's good. Tower still is not at the halfway mark. We gotta move. This could change real quickly. They could push this into overtime and beat us. So, again, focus on the person that's on the tower. Make sure we have nice, maneuverable paths to get back to the tower. Alright, and you got me. And you got my teammate. That's not good. That's very not good! Oh my goodness. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm trying to get back to help you guys. I'm trying to get back to help you guys. Just get the person on the tower. I don't care if I get splatted as long as the person on the tower is down. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh my god. Thank you. Good job. We have bomb him coming. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Let the tower start resetting itself. No. Frick, man. Are you kidding me with this? Are you kidding me with this? Don't let him take it. Just get the person on the tower. Move it back. Oh my god. We won that, right? I'm not crazy. They didn't barely sneak that from under our noses. Oh, my God. That's got to be the worst feeling in the world for them. To have literally been one point away while in overtime. Oh, my God. I got 10 people. My teammates also got at least 10 people. They put on the work. Urgh. I knew that match wasn't going to bump me into the next rank. I did get to level 41. I didn't know it was going to push me into the next level, but... I knew it wasn't going to push me to the next rank. I got to win at least one more. All right. All right. We'll keep it going. We will keep this going. Let me... Let me change some stuff if I'm going to keep leveling stuff up anyway. Damage power up is good. I definitely want to hang on to Ninja Squid. That's been helping me a lot. I used to think that Ninja Squid was not very useful for tower control. That it was mainly useful for turf war and splat zones. Maybe Rainmaker, if you're not the one actually carrying the Rainmaker, it's probably okay. Tower control, I didn't think it was very good, but... I mean, I'm happy to be wrong. I'm happy to just use <laughs> Ninja Squid. What I really want back is Stealth Jump. In the way that it was advertised in Splatoon 1, not this, like, false advertisement Stealth Jump that they put in this game, where it's like, oh, if you're right next to it, you can't see it. Nuh-uh, I want the real Stealth Jump back. But I also acknowledge how OP it was. I used to shout every time I got <laughs> Stealth Jump. I'd say, I've got stealth jump! And then I'd immediately land and surprise everybody. And with splashdown, that'd be busted. But splashdown, I guess, kind of helps. Helps the wound that is the lack of stealth jump. What are you doing over here, my man? All right, you know what? You know what? Let him go there. 
Two of them are down, one player is in our base. If we take the tower now, this would be ideal, so if nobody else wants to take it, I'll take it. Because I'm that player that pays attention to how many players are on the opposing team are dead. So boom, we're moving. We're moving, alright, they're coming in. I see you up here. I'm using this. Alright, let's make this all purple, make it harder for them to get on this. Ah, oh, and I'm dead. Alright. We did a miniature push. I question what my teammates are up to, but it's fine. It's fine, if you're taking out the opposing team players, that's all I can really ask for. This should be somewhat safe. I guess we'll find out in a moment. Uh-oh. Oh, no, okay, okay. Alright. No, hey, this is all green. That's no good. If we're gonna push this tower, we gotta make it so it's harder for them to get around and easier for us to get around. So, let's turn that green back into purple, because we're purple team, huh? They took the tower, and yeah, this is gonna be bad. Okay, let's get the green out of our base. You don't need to focus on it. Oh, I see. There's someone in our base that's trying to attack us. Why? Well, I, I won't waste too much time on them. I will waste my time. Well, I won't waste my time at all. I'll be going after the person that's on the tower. Hide here for a second. Nope, that didn't work. And you going up there would have been a death trap. I thought the person with the giant laser beam wouldn't see me, but all right, whatever. And uh, they're more than halfway. That's going to be a tough score to beat. But we can beat it if we take the tower now. Very good. All right, change all the green back to pink. Or pink. Back to purple. What? That's just on me. That's just on me for being an idiot. I have nobody to blame but myself. I am going to say ouch so that my teammates know that someone's there. That's kind of the whole point, right? Okay. Now I'm going to say booyah so I can assist my teammates that are there. Okay, no, don't let them take the tower anymore. That's okay. Okay, I got that person. Stay alive for a second. And if I can get you, that's beneficial. Okay, I don't mind getting splatted. Two of them are down. That's worth a booyah. Good job. Okay. Just take it. Take the tower. Take the tower. Come on, guys. Two of them were down. Alright. Change this green back into purple. Hey! Hey! Okay, good, my teammate got you. I like to think that I helped, though. Okay, and then there's you. I don't have to get you. If I can make it more convenient for you to come over here, that's fine. I'll hide here for a second. You know I'm over here. Let's get out of here. Turn all this green into purple! I'll be a distraction while my hopefully someone on my team takes the tower. Come on, I'm getting people! I'm the only person on my team that's alive besides one other player who is not going for the tower, evidently. So I'm just going to turn all their green into purple again. Alright, I'm almost out of ink. So let that back up. Hey! What the frick? That sucks! Oh my god! Okay. Man, I... You guys see that I have the right state of mind, right? That I'm doing the stuff I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just always out of ink. Always getting the slightly wrong angles. Whatever. That's a weird way to approach this with that special, but... Alright, none of my teammates want to take the tower, so I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Hey. Good. Alright, that person's down. Give me one second. Give me one second. Okay, you're going that way. I got you. Thank goodness. I could have let you go, but if you're splatted, it means that's less damage you can potentially do to our team in the future. Alright, I want to be able to jump to the tower. This will be perfect. This will be perfect. Alright, you made me use my special, but I, I'm taking him down! Let's make a push! Let's make a push! I'm helping! I'm taking them down! Booyah bomb in a prime location. No, they took the tower. Are you kidding me? Come on, you guys. They're still being taken out. Okay. I know I'm a little bit of a hypocrite because I've hardly been on the tower this match. But I just want the tower to move. That's not a score that's going to beat them. Come on. This is probably really dumb of me to jump to here right now. Yep. Oh, no, I'm alive. No. Frick, I'm dead. <laughs> Dog got it. Are you kidding me? Uh All right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hop on the tower. Please. Just do it. Uh You know the aim of the game is to move the tower as far as possible, right? I do it myself, but I want to make sure that this is mostly purple first, which is probably what you're doing, so I shouldn't be shouting at you. No, excuse me. Okay, we got 30 seconds. I'll take you out. I won't take you out. Man, Wish my roller did a little more damage <laughs> with the horizontal flick. Wait, they're still moving it? How did we let this happen? How did I let this happen? I was so busy being in their base, I wasn't busy at our base. No. Come on, ultimate comeback. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. No. No. Ultimate comeback. All right. Someone on my team has to take the tower and three of us are down and that's not going to happen, is it? Because the last person on my team has to take the tower and they have it. Ah, uh, alright. I apologize for being hypocritical during that match. I just, I just, I thought we finally had that push where I took down three players and one of us was on the tower. And then, 
nobody was on the tower, and then we couldn't make the push quite how I wanted. Alright, whatever. Oh, it hurts! So I'm one match away from having to do this whole S plus rank again. But I'm also one match away, presumably, maybe two matches away, from crawling my way into the next rank. Come on! Come on, man! We can do this. Ugh. Man, oh man, oh man. Okay. Alright. Whew. Whew. Shake it off. You win some, you lose some. That is the intensity of S plus tower control matches. And I have to remind myself that that is why I love this mode so much. Is because it can be intense. And although I get frustrated that someone on my team isn't always taking the tower, it's a little less obnoxious than someone not holding the Rainmaker. Because at least in tower control, it's easy to switch off. Rainmaker, it's like, I nobody wants to commit to that. Tower control, it's like, alright, I'm on, you can hop off. Alright, so you're on, I'll hop off. I get it. We didn't have that synchronization, we didn't have that team play in the previous match. I had them in earlier matches for sure. But that previous match, it wasn't there. This next match, maybe. Starfish main stage, let's go. Alright, I played on this map plenty of times. Played on it during tower control. I have a general understanding of some convenient ways to maneuver through this map and make it easier for us to secure that tower. So let's go. Alright. No booyahs at the beginning. I could initiate a booyah, but... Nah. Okay. So I'm gonna go around this right side of the map. I gotta be a little cautious, because sometimes... someone's expecting it, but... not often. Okay. I'm okay right here. Yeah, no, one, no one's going right here. Okay, we got a, we got a sniper! Well, if I take out the sniper, then we should be able to take the tower, right? Oh, two of you guys are up here. Oh! Oh, hey, I got someone. Alright, two of them are down! Third player that's alive is right by the tower. If you can take him out, the tower should be safe to take. So, I'm not gonna jump back just yet. Because I feel like they're gonna take the tower in a second. Nope, sniper's alive again. Alright. You go that way, I'll go this way again. Here we go! Alright! Hi, I'm a distraction! I'm distracting you! Go after me, not the person that's gonna take the tower. No siree! Yeah, use up your stuff. We took the tower? Great! Keep throwing that bomb right there. I'm not right there. I'm right here. Alright. Hey, you wanna leave my teammate alone? It's okay! I don't mind that I got splatted because I took someone else down in the process. You were so determined, huh? You just wanted to keep throwing those little bombs. You knew I did not leave. <laughs> I don't blame you. But it does bum me out. Like, man, I know I'm I know I'm stubborn. My opposing players are sometimes also just as stubborn, huh? They'll just wait there with me. Alright, you wanna you wanna leave my teammates alone, sir? I know you're here. I just talked about how stubborn I was. I don't mind waiting here some more if it means protecting my teammates. Yeah, you're still here. I, I, I'm not giving up that easily. We have the slight lead, and we're taking the lead even further. Alright, I assume at this point, because we have the tower, whoever was over here has left. Alright, I don't have to ink this part, but I'm going to do it anyway. Alright, oh, if we were only on the tower for like another half second, I would have jumped to them and splashed down. Alright. They are taking the lead. But wait, two of their players are behind. One of their players is on the tower, and we lost the lead. Doggone it. Alright, and here I am, thinking I'm being useful by just hanging out here. Alright, here I go guys. I'm coming back! I'm going to assist you with Splashdown! Hey! There we go, boom. Got that person. Very good! Okay. Hurt! Hurt! Leave my teammates alone! Alright, we can get it. We can make a comeback. That's not a terrible score to beat. Let me go ahead and mess up your base a little bit so you spend some time thinking that instead of going after the tower. There we go. Doing my little curler bomb triangles. What?! No! Oh, that counts as a loss! So my S plus rank is gone. And I can't hook up my recording stuff immediately because it's going to take my switch another minute or two to turn back on. Oh, come on! Even if I was going to lose anyway, this sucks because I can't do anything about it. And the second I boot my switch back up, I'm banned for the next five minutes because it's going to say, you didn't disconnect properly. So I lose my rank, I lose my ability to play, and tower control is my favorite mode. It's going to be rotated out in a few minutes. Uh, well, the journey continues, <sighs> but not for this video. This video is over. What a bitter way to end the video. You win some, you lose some, and sometimes your Switch just freaking overheats. Alright, folks. Well, if you can't tell by the fact that my throat is completely shot right now, that wraps up this video, Splatoon 2. Ink it up, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'm gonna rest, I'm gonna let my Switch cool down, and I will continue my pursuit to obtaining the X rank in this game in a future video. But for now, 
Bye bye. Oh my god, I can't even speak. Bye bye, humans. Whoosh. Hey, thank you for watching my video all the way to the end. If you want to show your support, one of the best things you can do is leave a comment down below. So if you have anything nice you want to say about the video, or if you have any questions, I'll try to respond to whatever I can at my earliest convenience. Either way, your support means a lot and I really appreciate it. I hope to see you all in the future. Bye-bye!